Here we go, problem. I gotta wash my hair tomorrow because this is just getting a tad out of control. Welcome back, my gorgeous queens. It's your girl Jess, and today's video is how to look beautiful without makeup. How to do little things to make your appearance seem more beautiful, to enhance your features, just to kind of tidy up a little, just tidy up a little bit. You know what I mean? It's like having a beautiful marble bench. But there's all clutter on it and it's dirty. You get a beautiful wipe and you just wipe it and it's, it's back to being crystal. So that's the goal here. Let's get to it. So step one, let's get on to skin first and then we'll get on to the other steps. Sunscreen is so important. Now this one is a little bit orange. So I like mixing it in with the La Roche-Posay. You don't need both. I know there's a lot of tinted moisturizers out there. I mean sunscreens. But... Sunscreen, this one, why I love it so much is it gives a really nice healthy glow to the skin. It's very runny. And then I put like two little pumps. Eee. Two little pumps. And then I kind of just mix it in on my hand. And see how it just, it just like tinted me. So it's not too orange when you mix it. And we're just gonna apply this all over our face. So not only are we protecting our skin queens, but we're giving ourselves a little glow. Now, I have dark circles, so I'm gonna show you what I do under my eyes because you should always apply your sunscreen everywhere. Who is she? So I get a bit of the, just like a drop then I take my ring finger and I really just apply that directly under my eyes. It's gonna tint it, it's gonna conceal it. And I just do stamping motions. Is there something on my skin? Look at that. Instantly a glow. Alrighty, step two, eyes. I personally love to curl my lashes. I just think it looks so pretty. Your eyes look so much awake. And I personally think eyes are the most beautiful thing in a person because it just kind of, you can kind of see someone's soul through their eyes. So I like to enhance them. So what I wanna do is I wanna take this individual lash curler. This is from Model Rock. I'll have everything listed below. And I'm just taking my blow dryer. Blow dry, you ask? Well, when you actually heat it up and then you curl your lashes, this will last all day, all night, all day and night, and day and night. I have tried curling my lashes and then not curling them, like with the heater, and this lasted all day. And I really like these individual ones more because I feel like the normal lash curler, it just doesn't grip your hairs, all of them, and like I always usually actually get my skin and the pain is like someone is stabbing me without an aesthetic and it's not a vibe. I don't, I don't like it. I don't even do it on my clients. So I'm not going to do it for myself. So I'm going to blow dry this. I'm going to keep it on hot. I'm going to show you what I do as soon as it's hot. All right. So that's pretty hot. So I just like to tap it a bit and then I go in. And I do three pumps to each section. If you feel like it's getting cool again, just go back in. Also, the reason I do that is because you can burn yourself. I have done that before. And then when that happened, I'm like, all right, sis, I learned my lesson. Ooh. Tell me you see the difference. Okay, let's do the other side. Okay, lashes are done and trust me, this it looks so good up close. So now we're gonna do eyebrows. I don't do too much to my eyebrows. I do recommend plucking the middle. If you are scared on doing your eyebrows, go get them done. Do your research though, I have had really bad eyebrow experiences. Or draw your eyebrows how you like and then where you see the hair is, 
like when you don't draw it then cut it out does that make sense so if i draw my eyebrows like that and then there's hair over there i'll take them off because that isn't where my eyebrow drawing placement is just a tip but if you don't want to do anything to your eyebrows like me i would suggest getting some hairspray and getting a spoolie you can get these on ebay for a few dollars spray spray wait 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 and then we just brush them in place now the reason i spray them is so they stay look at the, look, look at the difference so they stay in place we don't want them to move don't spray it too much like see how that is way too much you want to wait till it's very tacky and then So now I'm getting a bit of lip oil. You can get like Vaseline or whatever. I love putting it on my lips. This is a BYS. It's a lip oil, but it has a bit of a peach to it, peach tint. I just like to use my fingers because sometimes they're not much. Now, if you want a bit more of a glow to your face, you can get this and just kind of Put a little bit on the high points of your cheeks so just there and dab that in you don't want to apply too much because then it can get very oily sticky we don't want that wear something cute I know sometimes you're not bothered and trust me I used to be the same I used to always live in my robe but you know what when you get dressed up a little bit you feel so cute like you just feel like you look in the mirror and you're like oh who is she? I can't even flick my hair because it's crazy, but you know what I mean? You just feel so much prettier. You feel more put together. Even if you're at home, wear your gym clothes, wear something cute. Wear like a nice blazer, a nice baggy jumper with cute shoes. Something simple, but that you know that can be sustainable. I would highly recommend that. It really does boost your self-confidence. Now, last two steps. Step last one, second last, is your hair. If you have curly hair like me, you're not gonna want to always style it and I completely understand if you have straight hair I don't relate <laughs> I don't relate I feel like you can either just let it down tie it up style it play around with it what I personally like to do when my hair is at its wash stage tangly it just looks like a blob of beautifulness I'll show you I like to do my half up half down style because then it just looks more put together and not only that I just get a bit of my spray let me put that down and I spray my hair so it looks not goofy and like really how will anyone know that my hair looks horrible so I'm going to show you what I do with my hair so I'm going to do it half up half down I like to take a cute scrunchie this is that part's optional also if you hear my bird she I have no idea what she's going through my sister is playing with her. She's just, she mimics other birds. I'm not sure why. Hi. She says hello now. Okay. So I do two. Sometimes I do three, but two is cute. And then I just like put them up. Okay. Now, I don't just leave my hair like this. I feel like I do a little bit more to it. This part in, in is, again, optional. So I just use this Tarte gel. You can use anything you want. Use a toothbrush or another spoolie. And I just kind of dip into that. You don't want too much. So I just take the excess off. And I just kind of like to style my baby hairs. Honestly like you can play with it do whatever you want i just feel like this really makes your hair like it just looks so cute i i like to push my hair back here just be careful and then i've got some baby hair here i never used to like my baby hair and now i'm like well 
I might as well use it to my advantage now. Last but certainly not least, and not least, I love my English, jewelry. Now, this is a big staple. I don't wear these hoops all the time, but whenever I leave the house and I have no makeup on, I wear them. I do have other earrings in. I do have like these little cute silver earrings. I just like them because they're like little studs. And I have a fish here. I just think it's so cute. And then I have my tragus piercing. And then I put my hoop in like that. I like to mix gold and silver. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I think you do you boo. If that's the vibe that you want, do it. Then I don't just stop there. I love this new necklace that I bought. It's a butterfly necklace. And I just put this on as well. I have different chokers that I wear. Sometimes I wear a blue one. It just really depends on my style. It's the little things that really, I feel like, transform your beautifulness to just simple beautifulness. And this is something you can do every day. It really doesn't even take five minutes. It takes less. It's really just kind of making sure that your face and beautiful hair looks good without doing it. Literally just spray some water in it. Or there's this spray that I use for curly hair. I will link it down below that I like to use. It's like a reviving spray. And this won't go nowhere. Don't worry about this. Let me just fix that, I don't like how that's looking. This will stay put the whole day. It will not go nowhere, trust. You know how I know? Because I've done it before. Uh, this little spoolie is old AF, but it's all right, you get the point. And it's honestly so easy to do this. It, it looks a bit harder than it is, but it isn't. It's really easy. And yeah, just make sure your beautiful brows are brushed up. I just personally like that look. And look at that. And this is coming from someone who has dark circles. Embracing your beautifulness is also something that is going to give you more confidence. These little earrings, it just, it's little things that really complement the eye. I learned this trick of a friend of mine. She always wears earrings and she doesn't wear makeup. And there's just something about her that just kind of like got to look twice. And like, you look really cute. And I'm, she's like, yeah, I know. I'm like, Gotta try that, don't I? So let me know if you guys try it. It's so simple, you don't need any makeup. Sunscreen, you're protecting your skin. You're also giving yourself a little glow. If you don't want the glow on the cheeks, leave it. But this is optional. But I truly believe it will help not only your appearance, but your self-esteem. And you'll feel so much prettier when you leave the house. You'll feel prettier when you're at home by yourself. It's all just about boosting your beautiful self-confidence. So if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and I will see you gorgeous queens in my next video, which lately I have been uploading every day. So get ready for some content. Mwah. Bye queens.